The first part is familiarizing yourself with the RIT Pack 3. The easiest thing is to identify the bag. It is made of a high vis orange that can be seen easily. The straps have reflective strips for improved sight in low light environments. You will also notice that the straps that open each end of the RIT Pack 3 have tactile grips to help aid with orientation. On the low pressure side, the strap has a ball attached. The high pressure strap has a T bar. The easy way to remember this is low ball, high T. Additionally, there are two pockets on the top. The smaller pocket is for tools that may be carried to the rescue scene. The side of the pocket is attached with Velcro for easy access to the tools. The larger pocket is designed to hold 75 feet of 3 8 inch rope. There are 10 D-rings on the perimeter of the bag to enable other important gear to be attached without compromising the integrity of the bag. The skid plate on the bottom of the bag serves three purposes. First, it protects the internal components from damage during dragging. Secondly, it aids with dragging through various floor types. And lastly, a firefighter can easily orient the RIT Pack 3 and begin the vital work needed in an emergency situation. Unique to the Scott Safety RIT Pack 3 is the external pressure gauge. It is important to know how much air is remaining in the cylinder. To make it simpler, the pressure gauge has a light pattern that is the same pattern used on the heads up display on the Scott Air Pack SCBA. There are two green lights for a cylinder with more than 75% of the air remaining in the cylinder. There is a single green light for a cylinder with more than 50% but less than 75% of the air remaining. A blinking amber or yellow light for a cylinder with less than 50% but greater than 25% cylinder air remaining. A rapidly blinking red light for a cylinder with less than 25% of the air remaining. In all cases, a white light is positioned to cascade over the gauge face at all times. The RIT Pack 3 has two compartments to separate the low pressure, as seen here, and the high pressure pneumatics of the system. The high pressure side can be determined by looking at the strap. It has a T-bar sewn into it. This can also be felt with gloved hands in low light environments. Inside, you will find the cylinder valve, which is used to activate the RIT Pack 3. When the cylinder valve is opened, the lights on the external pressure gauge will turn on. The pressure reducer has an audible alarm that will sound when there is approximately 25% of the cylinder air remaining. The 5 foot transfill hose is stored in the tube running along the side of the RIT Pack 3. The tube makes it easy to deploy the transfill hose without it snagging internally. The universal fitting will work on any NFPA 1981-2002 edition SCBA or newer to equalize the pressure between the SCBA and the RIT Pack 3. The low pressure side can be determined by looking at the strap. It has a ball attached to it. This can also be felt with gloved hands in low light environments. The six foot low pressure hose and manifold can be attached to the lid of the compartment for easy access. The manifold is equipped with a male and female quick connect just like the fittings that are found on the Scott Dual EBSS system. The purpose of these fittings is to enable the rescue worker to give air to a victim through the low pressure side of the SCBA. There are two additional ports on the manifold to attach fittings from other SCBA manufacturers to make a true universal RIT pack on both the low pressure side and high pressure side. The RIT face piece is designed specifically for the RIT pack 3. The head harness has a reflective tab on the back to aid in donning on a victim and a large D ring on the adjustment straps. The face piece has the nose cup and voice meters removed so the rescue workers can see the victim's face. The face piece is not approved for use on an SCBA. The regulator is attached to the RIT Pack 3 low pressure manifold and will supply air on the victim's first breath. It attaches to the regulator with a quarter turn and locks in place.